All right, hello and welcome. This is going to be our classwork help video for the sum of an arithmetic sequence worksheet. Mostly just going to use a little bit of this video to give you guys some notes about how to do this formula, but it's pretty short, so I'm not doing a full um, lecture video on it, just the worksheet video. Uh, all right, so we want to use a formula to quickly add the following here. Well, let me teach you that formula right now. So the sum of an arithmetic sequence is equal to your first number plus your last number divided by two. This effectively takes the average of the first and the last number, all right, and then multiplied by the number of numbers. So the number of numbers in the list. All right, and so the reason this works, let me just set up a really simple one here. Uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. Let's say I wanted to add this really quick. Well, what I could do is I could take 3 away from this 7 and add that 3 over here. And now this is a 4, and that's a 4. All right, so now this is 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus five plus six plus four all right and i could do that working my way in from both sides taking a little bit away from one number adding it to another number everything stayed balanced here take another one away from here add it over here and i could turn this instead of a list of different numbers into all of the same number being added together so now i've got four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus Four. All right, and then if I'm adding all the same number, that's uh, a really easy problem to do with multiplication because multiplication just is repeated uh, addition. So I've got four sevens here, so it's just four times seven equals 28. So you got to figure out what that number is, and that number is always going to be the average between the first and the last number. That will tell you how much to take away from this number to give to this number. Uh, it tells you, you know, where where you're meeting in the middle. You know, I could do it even with like one plus two plus three plus four, but the average here is two point five. So I've actually got to take away one point five here, take away one point five, or add the one point five over here, get two point five, take away a point five, add a point five, and so I get a list of. 2.5s being added together, but it still works out. They all become 2.5s, and then this just becomes 2.5 times 4 equals 10. So that's what this formula is doing here. All right, let's put it to work with problem number one. The average of our first and last number is 13 plus 30 over 2. All right, well, let's see what uh, that is. We got 43 divided by 2 is 21.5 so this is our average all right and how many numbers do we have here uh, well for this one we can just count them up uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so 21.5 times 18 is going to give us our sum times 18 in my calculator, get 387. So that was quite a bit quicker than plugging this all into your calculator. And the longer the list, the quicker this formula is. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. So 49 to 85 counting by ones. So the number of numbers, this one might be 
take a little while to count them all out. Maybe we can use a shortcut to get the number of numbers. To get the number of numbers, just do uh, the last number minus the first number plus one if we're counting by ones. If we're counting by twos, then you're gonna divide that result by two before adding the one. So 85 minus 49 equals 36, but I add an extra one and I get 37. Okay, now let's find the average of 49 and 85. Add them together, divide by two. So 49 plus 85 divided by two is 67. So this was my number of numbers. This is my average. Multiply them together. 37 times 64, 37 times 67 equals 2,479. Uh, what's the sum of the integers one to 100? Well, how many numbers do we have there? It'd be 100 minus one plus one, we have 100 numbers. So that's our number of numbers, number of numbers. And what's the average? Well, one plus 100 divided by two equals 50.5. So 100 times 50.5 equals 5050. It's actually a good one to memorize. Uh, I think some famous mathematician, I think it was Ramanujan, impressed his teachers by doing this calculation super quick um, when he was like in the fourth grade or something. Uh, and it was because he thought of uh, what I showed here, which was taking some numbers away and uh, pairing them off so that you can just be adding the same number over and over. And you got 5,050. All right. Uh, so here, we don't have the last number. We just have the number of numbers. So we got to go and find that last number. So there's 15 numbers. What is my common difference here? The common difference equals 8. Looks like I'm adding 8 each time. So I can find the 15th term by using my uh, arithmetic sequence formula. What, what do we call that? We call that the explicit formula, which is your first term plus your common difference times the term number minus one. All right, let's see what this gets us here. So negative one plus eight times 14 is 111. All right, so that's my last term. I've already got the 15 to plug in. I just need to find the average of negative one and 111. So 111 minus one divided by two, 110 divided by two equals 55. So 55 times 15 now. Five times 15, the sum here would be 825. All right, let's go ahead and double check that one. Four and number five, 825. Check this one too, 2479. 2479, good. All right. Um, same technique on these ones here. Um, Number 11 is where it gets a little bit different. We're given the first term and the last term and the number of terms. So this time we have all the information to just go straight into the formula. This is actually the easiest case. Uh, we're gonna average that. So zero plus 88 over two times the number of terms, which is 45. I know that this is 44, so 44 times 45 equals 1,980. All right, and now when it's given in sigma notation, how do I find these sums? So what do I need? I need the first, the last, and the number of terms. So let's plug in one to get our first. So our first here is gonna be 10 times one, which equals 10. 
and then we'll plug in our ending value of 40 to get our last term. So then the last equals 10 times 40 equals 1,600. And now for the number of terms, it's stopping value minus the starting number plus one. And then that just gets us a 40. So altogether, we've got 10 plus 1,600 divided by two times 40. 10 plus 1,600, press enter, divided by two, press enter, times 40, gets me 32,200. Let's check that 13. Hmm, we're off by a little bit. 8,200. Oh, wait, because, yeah, I already know what I did wrong. 10 times 40, yeah, it should, this is the 10. I wrote the 40 twice. So that number's off. So it's gonna be like 10 times 40 equals 400. Um, and this, this number here needs to be a 400. I think I pronounced this right. So 10 plus 400 divided by two times 40 does get us 8,200. Okay, good thing I double checked that one. So yeah, I made a pretty silly mistake there, but we go back, the number seemed a little bit big too, so kind of thought I made a mistake. So we go back, we double check. All right, uh, let's use that same technique all look pretty darn similar. Uh, I guess we'll just do 18. So I need to get my first. So I'm gonna plug in the one first and I'll get 12 minus five times one equals seven. And now I need to get my last. So I plug in my 30 there. 12 minus five times 30 equals 12 minus five times 30, negative 1,300, or no, just negative 138. All right, now seven plus negative 138 divided by two is gonna give me the average. Now for the number of terms, it'd be 30 minus one plus one, and that's just 30, so times 30. So seven plus that number divided by two, times 30, this sum here is negative 1,965. Negative 1,965. Yep, we got it. Okay, well, uh, that's all for today. Um, good luck finishing up the rest of this worksheet. I'll post a, an extra practice link for you guys.